Hi everyone, my name is Gemma Levine, I'm the Deputy Director of Hope Not Hate um, and I'm here to share a few thoughts for Ramadan, for the Ramadan Bite. Um, so here we are in lockdown, um, I myself have got through Passover, other people have had to get through Easter and now you guys are getting through Ramadan all isolated and at home and it's incredibly tough. Um, one of the things I've been thinking about a lot recently is about the way we speak to each other. Um, and this is particularly, and perhaps I'd, I'd dedicate this to a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine who died recently, Helen, who was an incredible woman um, and who everybody who knew her knows that one of the things that she dedicated her life to was improving the way we speak to each other and she was really an incredible role model in that way. So think of her as I'm saying these words. Um, so like Islam, Judaism has loads of um, quite detailed laws about pretty much everything um, and one of the things is uh, the way we speak to each other. Um, and that would not just be uh, not lying and not spreading slander, but actually even when we're speaking the truth, being really careful about the way we speak. So that means uh, making sure that it's interpreted correctly. Um, and it wouldn't just necessarily be speech, but even a raised eyebrow or a funny face, a grimace could be um, a problem if it meant that somebody... Um, interpreted that you were saying something unpleasant about somebody, even if in, real, in reality you weren't. It's just about being very, very careful. Um, so uh, there are rules even when you do need to say something negative about someone. Let's say, for example, you're looking for a marriage partner or starting up a business. Um, there are rules about how you do that in a way that's safe and that doesn't spread negativity in the community. So I was thinking about this in the context of social distancing and staying home and less face-to-face -face -face interaction. And actually, I think it's probably more relevant than ever. You know, when we're face-to-face, -face, we can actually see when someone's got the wrong end of the stick. But if we're on WhatsApp, it's really easy to write a quick message that somebody else can misinterpret. It's really easy to take offence. It's really easy to make offence. Um, and when it comes to Zoom calls and conference calls, you know, somebody dropping off unexpectedly, have they got upset with me, um, somebody missing what's said because of a bad connection, it's all just so much harder than when we're face-to-face. Knowing where we get our information is really, really important in these times too. I hope not hate, we've been doing a lot of work looking at the conspiracy, conspiracy theories and fake news that are being spread around COVID-19. And both the Muslim and Jewish communities have been really impacted by this. The far right have been actively running campaigns and creating content, blaming both the Muslim and the Jewish communities in different ways for COVID-19. And of course, some of this content is really slick and really hard to see as being fake. So it's very easy to share. So one of the things I've also been thinking about is how important it is we check the source of information of things that we're looking at and consuming when we're isolated and spending much more time on social media than we maybe normally would. And really checking that we know that it's tr true before we share it on. It's so easy to like a link or to post something. This looks interesting and then the damage is done. There's um, an, an old story about somebody coming to a rabbi and saying, you know, I said something nasty about my neighbour and I want to take it back and I want to repent. And the rabbi said, well, take a pillowcase and fill it with, fe with feathers, then go to the town square and empty the pillowcase out. So the person did that and then came back to the rabbi and said, well, now what happens? And the rabbi said, well, now you've got to go to the town square and collect all the feathers. The point being, of course, that once something bad is said, you can't really unsay it, it's out there. So I was really thinking about this just in terms of our own speech and being so careful, but also in terms of social media and the damage that's being done and the responsibility that all of us have to be sure about the content that we're spreading. So going back to the beginning again, we talked about how in Judaism and in Islam, being careful in speech is such an important thing. And perhaps now in lockdown, it's something that we can all work on. It's something that I'm trying to work on. Um, and I hope that this is a, a message that anybody can take um, and use perhaps now in lockdown if you're, if you're marking Ramadan perhaps it's a useful thing to be thinking of um, I want to wish from me and from all the Hope Not Hate family all of you uh, Ramadan Mubarak um, and everything good in this month and for the future